you're looking at Ashitaba, aka Don Quay, aka Tomorrow's Leaf. Um, I just put them in a pan and I put the seeds in the refrigerator for about two weeks. And because these need to be cold stratified. And then I put them outside. They do need light to germinate. So I put them outside and they sprouted. Took them a while. Um, so now they're ready to go into pots. So what I did was uh, pre-moisten the soil. Um, dug a little hole with uh, my little spoon here. And just prepared a little spot for them to go. Uh, I tried to pre-moisten the soil, but it was a little hard because it was previously moist and I let it dry out. So these uh, plants need a lot of water. So um, since they were just layered on the top, their roots came up pretty easily. I just scooped them out of that pan and put them in the pot. Uh, and you just put them in the pot and you put the dirt back over them. And um, there I'm trying to set it up a little bit, fell over. And then um, you're gonna wanna water them in and label them. They may take a while, what I'm hearing is they're gonna take a while to um, grow, especially we're having warm weather. Um, I hear that they don't really like it that warm. And um, just press them in, lightly press them in, but um, they should be fine. Just water, keep them watered every single day. So this is your update part, um, for those of you who've been following along. So this is about a month and a half later, and this is all that they have grown. Um, I have about seven or eight more of these, um, and they all have like this funky, weird pattern on them. And I would say it was like bugs, but it's more of a, like a, I don't know, probably some type of fungus or disease or whatever. This one um, leaf up top is the best out of all that I have. So I'm going to harvest just one of the leaves because the rest of them are so funky. I wouldn't eat them if it was the last thing on earth. Um, and we're really going to find out if this is really tomorrow's leaf. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to see whether or not I'll go out tomorrow morning and see whether or not there's a new leaf. Um, just FYI, I did come back the next day and there was no new, <laughs> no new leaf down there. I think, um, if anything, the little shoots at the bottom, but as you can see, um, that was a perfect leaf. Didn't have any type of discoloring on it, but here you go. Like, see, there's are the other ones. They, if anyone knows what this discoloration is, um, sometimes I know tomatoes have like a leaf on it that has a, they have a disease called mosaic. So I'm gonna try to make some tea out of this one poor little old leaf. Um, but I always try to make, I always drown my, my stuff to make sure that there's, you know, all the bugs that are in there, you know, suffocate and come out. But the leaf wouldn't really go down. So I had to keep like pushing it down. Uh, I left it there for a little bit. And then I uh, came back Put it in some hot water and um, I did drink the water and it did have a flavor to it but I also ate the leaf itself because I need to get all the little nutrition out of that leaf so I did eat it and it was very um, it was strong I wouldn't say it was bitter but it just had a very strong taste kind of hard to uh, describe <laughs> 